Hi, this is Shannon from Ludovac, so welcome to this little chrono. Today I'm going to tell you about a game prototype that is called Carnage. So this is a game from Devil Pig, and that is going to be on Kickstarter for March 2016. So this is a game from two to four players, and this is a competitive game. People will be playing a race and fighting for the best spot in the middle of the hill that is here in the center of the table. So we're going to have cards that would be army, uh, troops that we're going to use to attack this hill and destroy the other opponents armies. So we're going to play four rounds and at each round we're going to fight with our army to bring new reinforcement on the, the table and trying to get the most units of our opponents out to get the maximum of points of uh, slaughtering. So basically each of these rounds we will compare the number of units that we will bring out that we will take out from our opponents army and earn five points for the first one, third for the second one, and finally one for the third one. Additionally, we'll be able to gain bonus points from Carnage points. That would be a card awarded each time a player will be able to take out the entire army of another player. To play, it's very simple. So you get a hand of cards that will indicate an initiative value, a uh, reinforcement symbol that will help you to, to, to know how many troops will be able to bring on the battle this turn and a symbol of attack. There are two symbols of attack, one that would be for melee attack and another one that would be for range attack. Each one of your troops will have different useful information on it. So basically you have a, a, a small icon on the border that will indicate you whether this is a card for the first uh, rank of your army, the second or the third one and you will then place your army uh, troop according to that symbol. The second thing would be the value of uh, the health of your unit. So basically this one can handle two points plus it has an extra shield that would be a value useful to, to soak some damage from your opponents. And the final information will be this symbol that we have in the top on the top of the card. So basically there would be the combat value sometimes some elite information that will give you some extra shot at your enemy and sometimes also some reinforcement that will help you bring new units on the on the board so we're going to choose at each round one card of initiative from how end and put it on the middle of the table so here for example every player will put one card on the table then everybody would just turn the card face up and we compare the value and then we go in order. Here, for example, that would be the human player going first. And so we'll resolve all the symbols of the card from top to bottom and from left to right. So here, for example, we know that it can bring one, two, three, four, uh, four basic units on the battle. So it will draw four cards from his uh, army stack. And then the black flag indicate that it can either just bring a standard unit on the table or it could choose is boss that would be a special uh, unit that it will have in the hand at the beginning of the of the of the game and that would be extremely strong but you you have it only once because if you get destroyed you get, don't get it back in your army and after you have done that you would just place the army according to the symbol i told you a bit before so here we go so there are many units to place on the table <laughs> so we hope that it fits and then we go for the battle so we look at the symbol of uh, the attack um, for this turn. So I know that I'm going to have one attack with melee and then I will have one range attack. So I will first count all the, the number of symbol of melee attack. I could also use some abilities. So for example, the human have the capability to launch a, a charge with the cavalry that would just destroy all the cavalry units but will double their value in combat. So you can either turn uh, the entire force against one enemy at, your, at the left or at the right, or you can split the value between the two, uh, two open that you have at your left and uh, at your right. So um, the goal of each uh, attack is to get out, to take out the maximum number of units from your opponents, because at the end of the round, you'll be awarded some point just based on the number of units you take out and not the value. Uh, that means that you better have to just destroy small units, the maximum number of small units, rather than target the biggest one. So, for example, here, let's say I have something like 20. Uh, I didn't make the exact calculation. So here I have um, three to uh, to be used to destroy that unit because it has an additional shield and then four five six seven eight nine so i will just destroy all the unit of that player i also will have to destroy some unit on this side because i said i'm going to split 
So I'm going to start from the bottom line, first line, and then I could go up and I would try to destroy maximum number of units, something like that. And then, now that I have done my melee attack, I will go to the next symbol. So sometimes the card will only display one symbol, which means that you're going to do only one attack. And sometimes you get some other symbol. So you can do some massive melee attack twice uh, for run, or sometimes you just get, for example, here, now a range attack. So for range attack, I will look at the symbol here for my archers. I see I have only four, and I could attack someone else. So that would be very opportunistic, but I could attack anyone around the table, not only my neighbor. So here I would just get out these two additional units from the opponent that is facing me. And that is two new units that would be scored at the end of this round. So everybody would do that in the order of the initiative. So now that would be that player uh, drawing some cards, playing some attacks and scoring some, uh, some units. And until everybody has played around the table. Now that the round is over, we just count how many units we took out this turn. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is quite a, a big attack and big score to have 11 uh, units uh, out. And then I will compare to the other player. The player with the highest count of uh, dead unit will get the uh, five points uh, card. The second one will get the third one and the third one will get only one point. So if there is a fourth player that is under the other one, it doesn't get any, any points. One thing that I didn't tell you uh, about, and this is quite fun in the game, is the Carnage uh, card that will get you an extra point if you manage to take out the entire army of uh, an opponent. So when something like this happens, the attacker has to yell, Carnage! And everybody around the table, even the one that got slaughtered, will have to say, yeah! If anybody missed that step, it would just lose one uh, carnage point he may have uh, earned a, a, a previous turn. So this is quite important that even if you get slaughtered by another player, you'd be happy about that. And you express some excitement about that, uh, especially if you expect to do the same thing to him on the next turn. So we're going to play four rounds. Each time we'll draw another initiative army card that will give you some new option. And at the end of the four rounds, we just calculate how many points we have with the sum of this award we'll get uh, every round plus the carnage points. The guy that will have the most points will just win the game. It is important to, to note that it's not a symmetric game at all. So every race will have special powers, special abilities and different ways to be to be played. So, so for, for instance, uh, the goblins here will be able to strike very fast and will have the ability to be very opportunistic by using range attack. Here we have the human that would be using the cavalry charge that would be quite deadly and also to use magic that would be used for boss, melee and range attack. We have the orcs that would be an extremely powerful uh, strike force but that would destroy themselves as well. And finally we have the slow and sturdy dwarfs that would be quite good if they manage to stay on the table because they would become a quite a good force but that would be very slow to, to get out and to be efficient. So you know almost everything about Carnage now. See you on Ludavax.